This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. This episode of SketchUp a 3D Toolbox is brought to you by 3D Connection, makers of the Space Navigator. To learn more about them, visit their website at www.3dconnection.com. Hey there, everyone, and welcome to another episode of SketchUp, a 3D Toolbox. I'm Cameron Harris, and this is episode number 37. Today, we're going to continue working with our backyard project, and we're going to start adding some retaining walls and some very large stairs, sort of a grand staircase taking you to the upper levels. Let's get started. Now, before we start working on the retaining walls today, I want to just mention something that I did with layers real quick. Now, if you don't know about layers, go back and watch our episode on layers. That was just a couple episodes ago. But you can see what I've done here is I've kept our default layer of layer zero, and I've added two more layers. One is the patio layer, and I've already added our patio group to that layer so I can turn the patio on and off as I wish. And I've added another layer called retaining walls right here. Now, needless to say, that's where the retaining walls are going to go. That's what we're working on today. But you can see I've clicked this little radial button next to the retaining walls. And that has uh, basically made that the active layer, which means that anything I model from this point forward will go into the retaining walls layer. Now, I don't need to keep the layers window up the whole time. It's kind of covering up part of my model. So I'm just going to close that. So you can do that, you cannot do that, but keep in mind this backyard is going to get pretty complex and as such it's nice to be able to like turn certain things off later on. It'll help you know, help it'll make it easier to model and it'll speed up the model as well. Now, the retaining walls are going to start uh, back here right next to the patio. Now remember, make sure that you're oriented correctly in your model. Make sure that you have the patio that we worked on in the previous episode in this lower left-hand corner. And I'm going to zoom in to the top right-hand corner right here. Because so what we're going to do first is we're going to make a big rectangle that will be the first layer of retaining walls. Because these retaining walls also form steps, big steps. So I'll show you how that's going to work. We're going to zoom down to this bottom right-hand corner, right to that corner right there. Hit the R key for the rectangle tool, click there, and now... I have this rectangle that I can move out as I want. Now, I am going to go ahead and type in uh, some measurements. I've measured everything for the retaining wall because I am actually duplicating a backyard. So I want to make this retaining wall 23 feet and 2 inches wide. So I'll just type in 23 apostrophe and then 2. 23 feet, 2 inches wide. And then I'll do comma to switch to the depth. And I will put in 92 inches. Just hit 92 and hit enter. And you can see that we've now got this very nice rectangle right here. It's lined up with the edge of our lot perfectly, which is perfect. And it lines up with this side of the patio, just right as well. So this is our base uh, retaining wall. This is our first step. I'm going to go ahead and use the push-pull tool now and extrude it up seven inches. So that's our first step right there. So this is the first layer. And then I'm going to uh, draw another rectangle, which I'm actually going to use some guidelines for. So I'm gonna switch to the tape measure tool because the, um, the next step is going to be Kind of like this, basically. Roughly, this is, this is what our next rectangle is going to be like. But uh, I've taken certain measurements so I know uh, how far in I need to offset this rectangle on either side. So I'm going to switch to the tape measure tool. And starting on this right edge here, I'm going to measure a guideline in about 49 inches. So this is where our first or our second step will begin, right there. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure in four feet, four apostrophe from this edge here. So this is where our next step is going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to the rectangle tool and just kind of fill in where those guidelines are. You could use the line tool for that as well. 
push pull tool and I'll pull that up another seven inches. And I'll go up to the edit menu and choose delete guides to get rid of those guidelines. So that's my first step. So these are, this is my first layer. This is my second layer. So these outer things here are the retaining walls. Now, before we move on with our project, I want to thank the people who make this show possible. 3D Connection. Now, if you think that the only way to navigate in SketchUp is to use keyboard shortcuts and mouse movements, think again, because these guys make the Space Navigator, which is a piece of hardware that really makes navigating in SketchUp so much easier. The best way to think of it is as a joystick in SketchUp. It's really quite amazing. You push and pull and twist the top piece in whatever direction you want to move, and you just move there. You don't have to worry about switching tools or holding down keys. You can even model as you're navigating. It's really easy and it makes modeling really, really fun. Be sure to check them out at their website, which is www.3dconnection.com. And be sure to check out the Space Navigator when you do. I wanna thank them so much for sponsoring this episode of SketchUp, a 3D toolbox. Now the next part of our retaining wall is actually going to stretch across the yard to another set of steps over here on the far end of the yard. And for this, I'm actually going to use uh, the line tool. So I'm going to start drawing a line right at the back corner of this retaining wall, right here. Switch to the line tool with the L key, click once there at that corner, and I'm gonna go ahead and lock my axis so it'll only draw straight across just hit the uh, right arrow key to lock it in there we go and I want to stretch this across 19 and a half feet so I'm going to type in 19.5 apostrophe for feet now next what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay on the line tool and I'm going to go ahead and select at this point here I'm going to go back six inches draw another line over here and just kind of form a simple rectangle out of this. And I'm going to go ahead and use the push pull tool and I'm going to push it up 14 inches. Or in fact, I could uh, just snap to the top of this stair here because that's how high it needs to be, just like that. Perfect, so this is our big long retaining wall here. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the push pull tool on this side here and pull it back so that it lines up with uh, this top stair here and it covers, stretches right across this bottom step here. So that's perfect. And now we've got that there. And now we've got this retaining wall that stretches right across here. And starting here is where our next batch of steps are going to be. So to do that, I'm going to first draw uh, a pretty simple rectangle. And I'm going to start at this, this corner right here stretch this out and I want to make this uh, 69 inches wide so I'll do 69 comma 41 inches deep so there we go that is going to be our first step and then so what I'm going to do there is I'm going to use the push pull tool and pull that up seven inches the next thing we're going to do is then we have basically a higher part of our retaining wall uh, that stretches across here. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to go ahead and use the push pull tool on this guy again. But because I want this to be a different height, if I were to just grab this edge right here and pull it out, it would just be stretching that rectangle across. I want to do a copy of it. So I keep this dividing line right here. So I'm going to hit the option key and pull it out. And I'm gonna pull it out 147 inches and I'm going to extrude it up another seven inches. So to make it, that'll make it 14 inches tall. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this long retaining wall piece here and I'm just gonna pull it right to that corner there. Now, if you look at this from the air, this looks like a pretty strange uh, setup. But what we've done here is we've basically just done a very rough model. We've kind of laid out the basic blocks of where these retaining walls are going to go. So really what these are going to end up looking like is something a bit more like this, where these walls are really only six inches thick, but then this interior part here is going to be filled with gravel and brick 
that form a nice pattern. And I'm going to show you how we do that, but that's going to be in the next episode when we start applying textures to all of these and making them take shape. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of SketchUp a 3D Toolbox. I know it may seem like a very simple thing to just model the basic block structure first, but don't worry because next episode we're going to take those blocks and turn them into something really special. Now until next time, be sure to visit our website at www.harwoodpodcast.com. I'll have the show notes for this episode where you can download today's lesson file and actually work along with me with the exact same project that I was working with if you haven't been following along from the start of this project. And if you have any questions or comments for me about the show, be sure to send me an email at Cameron at HarwoodPodcast.com. Until next time, I'll just say goodbye and good modeling.